This week is a important Shabbat on the calendar. It's called Shabbat Chazon. It is the Shabbat before one of the most important holidays of the year, Tisha B'Av. And Tisha B'Av is the saddest day of the year. It's a day that we commemorate the destruction of the Temple. And we don't just roll into Tisha B'Av. We've been preparing for it. We take on signs of mourning, like we're not shaving and not eating certain foods. And all of this is in preparation for this day that's going to take place Thursday. That's going to be the day that we remember the destruction of the temple. And the question that I've always asked was, why are we looking back for? Right? It happened. Why not look forward? Why do we spend so much time and effort mourning the past? It happened. Let's just, let's be positive. Why do I go, go why do we have, always have to feel, be sad? Why do we got to feel bad for? Why can't we just move on and feel good? This is a great story from a Hasidic Rebbe. I forgot which one. Who was walking down the street and he sees a little boy sitting by the forest crying. And he says to the boy, why are you crying for? And he says, we're playing the game hide and seek with my friends and I'm hiding. And the rabbi goes, I see, isn't that the purpose of the game? You're doing great, you're winning. And the boy's crying and the boy says, yes, but they've stopped looking for me. No one's looking for me anymore. That feeling we get of nobody's looking for me anymore. They left, they're not coming back. They forgot to call on my birthday. They forgot me in this group. There's a feeling that we have when we expect the people around us to remember us, to see us, to need us. And when they don't, it hurts. A little bit that I think is what is the underlying, the, the pain of this day. We're not looking in the past. We're Jews. We're too busy to look in the past for the past's sake. What we're doing is we are making sure that we don't end up forgetting the most important thing in the world. The temple wasn't just a building. It was God's, it was the manifestation of God's presence in this world. It is synonymous with an era in which there's more godliness, where there is open miracles, where people act godly, where there's peace, where there's clarity, where there's wisdom, where we live with God, where God isn't hidden and we have to find out how come God this, how come God did that, where we live a certain way, the way we're supposed to be living. The temple represents a life that we're supposed to be yearning for. And we had once. And because of our sins, it didn't. we ended up losing it. And God understood that if I would just let them go, after a while, they would just stop looking for it. Life's too busy. There's a treadmill. We gotta make. We gotta pay bills. We gotta do stuff. Our body wants us to fill it. We have things going on. It's so easy to just keep the game going and stop looking for the people that are hiding. And Tisha B'Av is the day in which we stop for a moment and remember we lost the temple, not because we're going backwards, not because we want to be sad. Because if we don't go back, we're going to forget that the most important thing in the world, a relationship with our Creator, is being forgotten and overlooked. God's hiding. And we're not looking. As long as He hooks us up on like Yom Kippur when we need it, we're good. God goes, no, you're missing it. This is just, you're just touching what life can be like. Do you have any idea what life can look like if I'm just a little bit more in this world? Do you have any idea how great life can be if there's just a little more godliness in this world? Don't stop searching. And on Tisha B'Av, we remember it. We sit on that floor, we remember the day, the temple, what it was, God in this world, what it must have been like. And by doing that, we ensure that when God goes into hiding, we never stop looking because if we keep on looking, we are bound to get to a level where we can reveal Him, where we will find Him and He will reveal Himself in the most incredible way possible.